Clarice and today is Monday so it's time for another tag video. Today I'm going to be doing the Would You Rather Booktube Edition tag. This tag was originally created by Ray K Books and I was tagged by Ciara Jab so I will link both of their channels down below in case you want to check that out. I think the title is self-explanatory. It's basically Would You Rather but with book related questions and also I feel like everyone's already done this tag at this point. But I've been wanting to do it for a while, so I'm glad that I was finally tagged. So anyway, let's just get to the tag. Would you rather read only trilogies or standalones? If you had asked me this question a year ago, I would have said definitely trilogies because I feel like at that time, I was reading exclusively trilogies, but not just trilogies, exclusively young adult dystopian trilogies. I was having a phase. But now I'm 100% sure that I would answer standalones. A lot of my favorite books now are standalones. I'll give you The Sun, Ready Player One, The Martian. The only trilogy that's on my favorite shelf that immediately comes to mind is the Mistborn trilogy. Most of the time, you don't need to actually expand the story and stretch it out over the course of three books. So yeah, basically I would definitely say standalones. Would you rather read only female or male authors? This is a stupid question, so I'm just going to skip it. Shop only at Barnes & Noble or Amazon? I'll just assume that this question is asking if I would rather go to a physical bookstore or buy books online. This is also an easy question unless you would count ebooks because you can't buy ebooks in a physical bookstore. But I buy all my physical books from actual physical bookstores. I have never actually ordered a book for delivery online in my life. I just love bookstores. Even when I don't end up buying a book, just being in the presence of books makes me so happy. Would you rather all books became movies or TV shows? This is hard to answer because often it depends on the book, but if I had to choose, I would probably choose movies. Even though movies, because of the length, aren't usually able to stay totally true to the books, I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with that. I'm okay with book to movie adaptations if they are done well. There's some things that don't translate well from book to movie and if they change those and they pick a good and tasteful way to do it, then I'm gonna be totally fine with that. And I could watch them all and I would actually be able to. Imagine if all of your books became TV shows. Who has the time for that? I have a lot of favorite books and not a lot of time. I'm just probably gonna get frustrated with myself for not being able to keep up with them. Would you rather read five pages a day or five books a week? I feel like everyone answered this question the same way because what reader would want to read just five pages a day? What can you read in five pages? That isn't even a chapter for most books at least. When I start in the middle of the chapter, I often need to backtrack a bit and read things over again. So imagine if I can only read five pages a day, I would read five pages into a chapter stop and then pick up the book again and then be really really confused and then have to read five pages again and I would just end up continuously reading these same five pages over and over again and it's not gonna be good. If I had to do that I would probably start reading at almost 12 midnight every two days so I could read five pages and then when it hits 12 midnight I would read the next five pages so at least it would be a chunk of 10 pages which is still pretty bad, but that could possibly be a full chapter. Point is, I would rather read five books a week. I love reading. If I could read five books a week, that would be awesome. Would you rather be a professional reviewer or author? I think I would rather be a professional author. I'm actually terrible at writing fiction, but I feel like if I were an author, I would probably write non-fiction or something like that. I just enjoy big projects and the idea of being able to create something that other people could benefit from. Even though I review books on this channel, I can't imagine doing that professionally. So I would definitely have to choose author. Would you rather only read your top 20 books over and over or only read new books that you haven't read before? I feel like most of us when we were kids, we reread a lot. 
I know I did. I feel like I read the Babysitter's Club books and I don't know how many Babysitter's Club books I had like 10 times each because I was obsessed. But for most of my life, I actually haven't been much of a rereader because there are just so many other books that I wanted to read. But this year, I actually reread a couple of books I had read before that weren't my favorites then. But after rereading it, they became my favorite books. And so, because of that, I could definitely see the appeal in rereading. But that being said, again, those two weren't among my favorite books. And I feel that if I limited myself to reading only the 20 books that I would consider my favorite now, I could never discover new favorites, which would suck so much. So as much as I would hate the idea of not being able to reread Ready Player One, which I love, or The Book Thief, or Harry Potter all over again, it's just that option is just way too limiting. So I would have to go with only reading new books all the time. Would you rather be a librarian or bookseller? I'd have to say bookseller if only for health reasons. Because library books can sometimes be really moldy and really gross and I'm asthmatic and I don't do well with moldy things. Books and bookstores are all new and you don't need to stay quiet in a bookstore. So I would rather be a bookseller. Would you rather only read your favorite genre or every genre except your favorite? I'm not actually sure what my favorite genre is yet. For a while I thought it was fantasy, but now I'm kind of also leaning towards science fiction. If I could read only fantasy and science fiction, those two genres, then I think I'd be okay with that. But if I only had to choose one, I'm not sure if I could leave the other. So let's just assume that I can read both of them. And if that's the case, I would rather only read my favorite genre. Because just the idea of never being able to read fantasy or science fiction, I don't think I would read much at all. Fantasy especially is just so broad. There's high fantasy, there's low fantasy, there's flintlock fantasy, and lots of books that aren't predominantly fantasy sometimes have some fantasy elements in them. Science fiction actually sort of encompasses dystopian as well, so I don't think by choosing only my favorite genre, I would feel limited at all. Read only physical books or ebooks. Again, if you asked me this a year ago, I would have said ebooks because at that time, I had pretty much just read exclusively ebooks. If you asked me this about half a year ago, I wouldn't have known what to say because I think at that point I read about half ebooks, half physical books. So I would have been pretty torn. But I think now I would rather read only physical books. As much as I enjoy reading the longer high fantasy novels in the Kindle because they're much easier to read there. As much as I love looking out for Kindle daily deals that are going to be really good reads. I just like owning books because books are beautiful. I like my bookshelf which wouldn't be here if I didn't have physical books. And also kind of recently, I have really been enjoying putting sticky notes all over my books and you can't put sticky notes on your Kindle. Even though I know you can highlight things and put notes in the Kindle, which I actually do and I enjoy doing, it just doesn't feel the same as flipping through a book that you just read and looking through all the things that you marked with your sticky notes and reminiscing. So as much as it would pain me to give up ebooks, I think I would rather only read physical books. So that was the Would You Rather Booktube Edition tag. Now it's time for me to tag some people. So here are the people that I tag. I will put them on the screen. I will link them down below. I hope that you do this tag, it was really fun. Anyway, please subscribe to this channel, like this video, follow me on Twitter, and friend me on Goodreads. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!